All right. Hello and welcome back to another Phantom Forces video. We are today continuing our underrated weapon review series where we take a look at an underused, underpowered, or flat out bad gun in the game and ask the question of whether or not the gun can be salvaged and made competitively viable. So we're of course today talking about the K2, which a lot of people are under the impression has actually been made worse in recent updates due to being lowered from its original 34 to 24 damage ranges to its current 33 to 20. But looking at the torso multiplier, as well as the adjustments made to the range, the K2 is actually, though only just by a little bit, slightly better and actually stronger than it was before, whereas it could only 3-shot kill to the body at 62 studs and 4-shot to the body at 151, it is now able to kill at 74 studs with 3 shots to the body and 155 for an extra 4 entire studs of damage range done entirely by the torso multiplier. Now, compared to a lot of other guns you're going to see in this series, the K2 is definitely by far one of the stronger guns that I'm choosing to cover, more so for the fact that they quite literally nerfed the gun and on paper it looks worse, but the gun is performing better than it ever has range-wise. Though basically every single clip in this video shows me using a different loadout, the one I found to be the most consistent is Reflex, Compensator, Sideways Grip, Tri-Laser, and Armor Piercing optionally. Experimenting with the gun for about a week or so has led me to believe that the barrel and grip attachments are likely interchangeable to whatever you think is best, so I don't think that the loadout that I suggested here is the only one that can be used for this, and there's highly likely something better that I just didn't find the combination for. Now to give this gun an overall rating, 1 out of 10, 1 being bad and 10 being good, I'm going to go fair and give this gun maybe a 8.5, cruising towards 9 out of 10. Solely for the fact that though it is good and has always been good, the top competing assault rifles and some of the battle rifles and LMGs are always going to have a way of competing with this, and with the K2's middling reload and unimpressive stats all around compared to the top tiers, this isn't a phenomenally overpowered gun, but it's definitely in one of the best shapes it's been right now in terms of power and overall usability. And I do believe that is about it for the video. I do have a little bit of extra footage, so I'm just going to add on to the end for anybody who wants to contribute to making these videos better. If you have any input down in the comments below for things that I should talk about or other comparisons maybe I should mention while talking about these guns, I am all ears to making these videos, though at the same length they are now, as informative as they can possibly be for being shorter form factor. And uh, the rest of this will just be the clips or whatever. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Especially if you're still watching now. Thank you.